In this video, I'm going to sandblast coffee mugs to turn them into chalkboards all the way around. YouTube said that I should be very specific about what I'm going to accomplish in this video in the first 15 seconds, so that was that. Now, at a garage sale, you see coffee mugs sometimes like this and this, as we did this week. And we bought them because they're worth something to us because we like them. But, on the other hand, there are plenty of these at garage sales and these. And, you know, clubs we were never a part of. Anybody who was a volunteer for the hospital already has gotten a mug or two or three. Now, the benefits of doing this project are probably twofold. Number one, you get to repurpose something that we have an abundance of. Uh, then that just feels good. And number two, if you are looking to justify an air compressor, now's your chance. I mean, chalkboards are trendy. At least they were like five years ago. Now, before you go saying, well, I don't have a sandblaster, I can't do that. Uh, don't worry, a sandblaster, at least the one that I use, is only about 25 bucks or less. Put this in a bucket of sand and blast away. The sand is really, really fine. The sand blasting media I use is from the local uh, monument company. And I buy the extra fine stuff. It's like $13 for a bag that lasts a bunch of projects. So that's what I'm gonna use here. There are some limitations of this being a cheap sandblaster. Uh, it really works best with the fine stuff. The coarse stuff, it works, but not as well. Also, you gotta kind of fidget with this thing here to make sure it's sitting on top of the sand and not buried in the sand for it to work well. So, I'm okay with those limitations <laughs> for a $25 sandblaster that I've done a lot of sandblasting with. So let's get started. So even if you think you're covered, you're still gonna be finding sand all up in your skin and your hair and it's gonna be a mess. So definitely use safety glasses and a shield. If you just use a shield, the sand's definitely gonna make it up into your eyes, um, but also a respirator mask. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Excuse my welding gloves. All right, so for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna wear the dust mask. That way I can explain what I'm doing. I just won't breathe. I think I'll be able to do that for at least a couple minutes at a time. Now the siphoning end, since this is a cheap sandblaster, uh, the siphoning end needs to go just right on top. If it gets too buried, it'll stop sucking and you just lift it back out to keep it on top. Think about the bounce angle. Like if you shoot a BB at the cup, where would it bounce? If it would bounce right back in your face, well, that's what the sand's gonna do when it bounces. So the idea here is to sandblast the mug, not your mug. To get the uh, handle, rotate it, rotate it around. Ah. Rotate it around. Shoot all up in there. So I'm shooting at an angle where it ricochets away from me generally. And that keeps the pain level down quite a bit. You see how nicely it removes that label? Look at that. So blasting makes the dark colors a little bit more pastelish. Which looks pretty cool. I like the matte finish that it gives. Now, if you look at the bottom of the coffee mug, you'll see the white. That's the material underneath the, whatever the material that's colored is. And as I'm explaining that, I'm realizing I should have thought through those terms before. Siri, what are coffee mugs made out of? There is a bad word about to be. Siri, what are coffee mugs made out of? The answer I found is ceramic. Ceramic, okay, so what is ceramic? Ceramic is a solid material comprising an inorganic compound of metal, non-metal or metalloid atoms, primarily held in ionic and covalent bonds. Covalent, common examples are earthenware, porcelain, and brick. So that's interesting. I didn't know brick was a ceramic uh, or porcelain. I thought porcelain and ceramic were different things, but it seems porcelain is a ceramic. Kind of like how billiard balls are a plastic 
and we don't necessarily think of plastic being so strong. I have it on my list. I'm not sure if I'll get to it ever, but the video is uh, stop dissing plastics. Anyway, at, at the very least, we can be very generic and say coffee mug is made out of ceramics. Now what about, Siri, what is the colored part of a coffee mug? Okay, I need, to, I need to record this real quick on the, the screen recording because there are some interesting results showing up here. The first result is the color of your coffee mug can change the way your coffee tastes. I have not ever heard of that. So we'll have to, are there, if there are any coffee connoisseurs, the coffee cup color makes your drink taste a certain way. The color of your cup could change how your coffee tastes. Better coffee, ch try changing the color of your cup. Uh, okay. So wooden mugs, that'd be cool to make. Hmm. If you shoot sand at the same place long enough, you'll go through the colored stuff and expose the white stuff. I've done about 10 coffee mugs before all these. You have plenty of time to create the textured part. Oh. Back on the topic of mugs, I bring you the Frosty Beer LaCroix mug. Mm -hmm. 